Now, the news for South Mississippi. WLOX News at 6. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Rebecca Powers. And I'm Jeff Lawson. Crews are turning back the clock now by restoring Deer Island to how it looked more than a century ago. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says the first phase of the project actually began last week and includes expanding the island by hundreds of acres at a price tag of $14.5 million. Now, officials say the project is about both practicality and beauty. Danielle Thomas has more in tonight's top story. They're moving probably the equivalent of about 150 to 200 dump truck loads of sand every day. And they work 24 hours a day. All day, all night, workers dredge sand from the channels and pump it onto Deer Island. Piecing together the island, Mother Nature split into two. You have a cut here where it, it's been cut out, not just with Katrina, but other storms in the past. Part of the Gulf restoration pr projects is to restore this island back to the way it was. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers wants to recreate the Deer Island survey in 1850. So after the sand replenishment, the Department of Marine Resources will come in to plant native grasses and trees. Build some dunes out here to provide some vegetation out here that will increase habitat for uh, shorebirds and mi migratory birds and a variety of, um, of, of, fo of critters that live in the water park, the shrimp, the crabs, uh, the small fish. Officials say Deer Island's added 600 acres will help lessen storm damage to the coastline. For small storm events, this obviously provides a protective barrier. And then you have the outer uh, barrier islands, which we're also working on in, in a restoration effort. So you'll, it'll give you a double layer before anything actually would come ashore. Congressman Gene Taylor says he knows in time this too will wash away. So he wants to keep the effort going. What we want to do going forward is when they dredge those channels, get the core to drop the material that comes from the bottom of the channel either on the island or near the island and continue to grow the island because it's going to try to wash away naturally so we have to work man has to work to keep this island here on deer island danielle thomas wlox news and the u.s army corps of engineers says acreage will also be added to the south side of deer island officials say the contractor has one year to complete that project the $14.5 million first phase of enhancing Deer Island is now underway. Crews are working 24-7, dredging and pumping sand, then spreading it over the island. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says the project will create 600 acres of additional land to reconnect Deer Island, which over the years, storms have divided into two. Officials say in about a year, Deer Island will be restored to the size it was back in 1850, making it more beautiful and more of a protective barrier for our coastline. Purposes. Well, practical purposes for small storm events, this obviously provides a protective barrier. And then you have the outer uh, barrier islands, which we're also working on in, in a restoration effort. So you'll, it'll give you a double layer before anything actually would come ashore. And core officials say future phases will include planting native grasses and trees on the 600 acres to create more habitat for wildlife.